name is uh, Dieter Schroeder. Uh, we farm in the Winston area on the farm Nordhorp. Yeah, well, we started, uh, as I said, uh, in 1989. I came to the farm and I was leasing grazing and doing beef mainly and uh, a bit of cropping. And uh, the droughts actually forced me to to look at uh, irrigation farming. In total, we we cultivate about 1,100 uh, 1, uh, hectares a year. My name is Ross Braithwaite and I work at DT Farming in Winterton, KwaZulu Natal. Um, I work together with my father-in-law, Dieter Schroeder. Farming with my father-in-law is actually pretty good. A lot of people say to me, ask me the question, how do you farm with your father-in-law? And I said, it's easy. And they say, yes, because I, I can't farm with my dad or whatever. Um, I think Dieter and I have a very good relationship. Um, I'm married to his daughter, obviously, and we can be on the farm 24-7, go on a 10-day holiday together as a big family and come back and just carry on. I think the, the main aspects of working together, um, one is trust, um, respect and communication. Those three things um, we hold high on our farm. So our main line uh, on this farm is uh, maize, soybeans and wheat. Um, and then we do have some Brahmin, a little small herd of Brahmin cattle, white Brahmin. Um, and then uh, just to add to our farm, we decided to branch out on the veggie section. And um, we introduced that in 2013. Um, so we grow a little bit of seed for stock ears, um, pumpkins, um, sweet corn and butternuts. So we spec the tractor exactly how we, we wanted it. Um, yeah, so um, its main job would be spreading. Um, but uh, the other day I needed it to pull the lemcan and um, we unhooked the spreader and it went to do some lemcanning for us. Um, and then I had to prepare the cabbage land uh, before this rain came on Sunday evening. Um, and we unhooked that and we put the ripper on and we went to rip and we got it all sorted out. So a lot of sometimes on your farm, um, uh, you have a tractor that may maybe break down and um, we need to get another one and all the tractor's busy doing something else and we're a little behind on work. So at this horsepower, it can literally do any of the other operations uh, uh, that we've got for it to do on the farm. Maybe you can call me a nerd, but I, I, love, the, I love the computer side of it. And, we just feel that with the high horsepower and the, and the high spec um, line from Agco, we can really uh, spec and, and give the customer exactly what he needs from tire sizing to hydraulic oil flow to different guidance options, precision farming options. Um, we love playing with stuff like that and really, really giving the customer exactly what he needs. No compromise. Uh, one of the main things that stood out uh, with this tractor compared to the competitors is the, the value for money. Uh, we, you know, we saved a, a lo lot of money uh, by purchasing this tractor, taking the value of the, the price of the kilowatts uh, compared to the opposition, it was a lot cheaper. And then the technology uh, is, is just as good. I mean, the engine and the transmission are of the best in the world. And we, we thought that uh, it's time to maybe uh, go, go into this venture and, and see what it can do for us. Uh, on the fuel, fuel efficiency side, it's been, uh, uh, it's been great. And I'm quite confident that uh, going forward, uh, it, 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 will, it will show that it was the right decision to, to buy this tractor. The, the tractor itself has got so many awesome features on it, uh, driver comfort. Um, there's a joystick there where you change all the gears and on that joystick you just press buttons and it goes. It's really comfortable to drive, it, it goes through all the sequences. Um, we, we're thoroughly enjoying it for the job. Uh, we basically bought it to, um, to spread with our big three ton spreader and it handles that easily. Now we can get through hectares pretty quickly um, and uh, it, it just it's awesome to drive that tractor, really enjoy it. If you're going to spend two, three million rand on a machine, to have to wait a few months, but 
you know when it arrives here, it's got exactly the button you want to press and the one you don't want to is not on there. It's, it's phenomenal that we're able to do that. It, it really is. Our workshop has, has built up a reputation that and, and sometimes almost the guy, if the guy's wheelbarrow wheel squeaks, he'll bring it to the workshop. And that's how we start. And that's how we've ended up swinging customers to, to well, red and or black machines. Um, some of them, total fleet has been changed over the years. You can't ask for more uh, than that. Um, uh, the knowledge that they have, every time you phone them, it's not an issue. They never, they're just always happy to take your call and try and figure out and um, figure out what the problem is and get it going.